Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix and today we're going to be having a little bit of fun with our mainframe, with our MVS 3.8 mainframe. We're going to be playing some games. Um, yes, uh, it may seem uh, hard to believe that people were writing games for business machines that cost millions of dollars even back 40 years ago, but uh, when you give humans uh, something creative to do, they will find something creative to do and games are an expression of creation, of creativity and uh, and so people did write games. Um, so there are several games installed in TK4 which is what we're going to be looking uh, at today. Uh, we're going to be playing with TK4 Update 8 as uh, distributed by Jürgen Winkelmann, the maintainer of TK4. This is MBS 3.8J. Uh, these games will be, uh, can be easily installed also on later versions of MBS such as XA or OS 3.9 or ZOS. Um, nothing really changes there. Um, every program ever written for MBS uh, from way back in the 70s will still work on today's uh, latest ZOS version and that's that's quite an amazing thing but let's let's see what kind of games are installed um, as you can see here this whole this panel here is this command panel or C CLIS panel must reside somewhere and so uh, the maintainer of TK4 Jurgen had put this uh, has put this in a particular uh, partition data set uh, let's go and look for it it's an assist to uh, data set uh, and this tells us already this is an extension to the system because as we know sys1 is the operating system installation itself and then sys2 is any additions or changes or modifications that the maintainer of this distribution of MVS has made um, and specifically um, commands that can be entered from within TSO can be found here in sys2 command proc library it's a library let's go in it We'll see first of all TSO apples. Okay, that's the panel that gets invoked when we log in. And just to make sure that this is it, we can make a change and go check. Um, since I don't really um, like uh, the second productivity environment, the RPF, let's play tricks. And if somebody invokes, um, logs in and presses two, option two, it will still invoke our option. Uh, one RFE, which is the far superior environment. Why don't we have a little fun with this, change it, and see what, if this is indeed the library that we need to go look for stuff for. Uh, so let's do TSC apples. Okay, and now if it says number two R RPF, if this is indeed the correct member, if I press two, I should still end up in the RFE environment. So let's see, and indeed this is, that is the case. So uh, let's go back and see what else is in there. So now that we know this is the live library, um, there's a bunch of games in here um, and uh, some others are not even in here. But um, so first of all, we have Dew Chess, which is a, um, a chess program. In fact, uh, Dew Chess, we can um, Chrome, Wiki Dew Chess. Um, it was quite, it's actually a, a quite a strong chess program that came second in a computer competition, I think in the 80s. Um, and this is this humans here, this people, um, I think Tom Truscott uh, wrote uh, Dew Chess, uh, playing against a world famous Ken Thompson, one of the uh, Unix and C uh, developers. Um, and it won, uh, it, it came second in the competition in that year. It was a, it was a runner up, it was one of the strongest programs in, in its time in 1977. It was a runner up. Uh, and then, um, uh, yeah, became third, only losing from Bell. So it was one of the strongest chess programs. And, um, and so this is installed. And we'll look in, in, a, in a second how to play that. Then we have some game called Guess Number. We're going to play it as well. Then we have Klingon, sounds like some kind of space game. Random, uh, with some random quotes. And uh, then we have Star Trek. We have U-Boat. Um, 
So to be able to keep track of all this, I'll just start the second terminal session here and log in as Herc02. Okay, so do chess is the first one we have there. Um, okay, so I'm just started the game here playing E4 and uh, the computer responded with E5. Um, and so we can play a whole game here. There's a help menu. Um, help uh, time. So we can tell the computer how much time we want it to think, how strong we want the computer to think. Uh, so we make it work five CPU seconds for each move. So we do uh, E, let's do D4. Okay, and so the computer just uh, played <laughs> and uh, so this, um, uh, this is a chess program. There's a way to have a graphical view of this but i never made it uh, i never quite got it to work but this is uh one game then let's see what guess number is i'm thinking of number between 0 and 101 50 guess higher 75 guess higher uh, 87 wow um 95 99 100 Okay, six tries. So, no, I don't want to play this anymore. Um, then there is uh, this game called Klingon. Now, attempting to allocate your freeze file. If not found, it will be created allocating the freeze file. Wow. This looks good. Written by Larry Williams. Let's see who Larry Williams is. Larry Williams, Klingon. Mm. No, I don't think that's him. Can't find the Larry Klingon. Who, uh, so, but let's look at uh, instructions. Yes. Welcome to Klingon, a game of space war and conquest. Conquest. This section is intended as a brief introduction to Klingon. Complete rules are available in Klingon.rules. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find Klingon. Yep, it's here. Okay, so. You can find here all the rules for the game. Um, I played it, I, I used to play about 20 years ago and I was quite addicted to it. It's a very, very good game, but I remember very little of it. Um, yeah, these are the graphics. Um, this is the help file. So if you go to Klingon, high level Klingon, uh, high level qualify Klingon, you get. Um, please enter the next page. Do you wish to start a new game? New. Are you ready? Good expert. Good. You want the tournament? The regular. And it's working right now. Okay, so you're basically in space and you have a bunch of um, weapons and shields. And then there's other ships that come within uh, proximity and you either conquer them or you will be destroyed by them. Um, uh, you'll have four commanders to assist you. Good luck. All of Klingon goes with you. Uh, and so there, there's a range. It's a very good game. Um, I suggest you study this a little bit. Um, did you say something, Lord Commander? <sighs> Begging you leave, Lord Commander. Quit. Uh, I think it's PA1 actually. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so we're out. You press PA1 to get out of the game. Um, so this is another one. Then where were we? Um, Sys2. Uh, what other game do we have here? Um, Star Trek. Okay, Star Trek. That is it. Uh, data set Herc01 Star Trek rate file not in catalog will be when the game where information is required you make a request a short extension with typing 4 times 7 enter your last name Moshix type properly enter your password Moshix again 
to use the program. So I have errors for this job. Wow. What did what went wrong here? So let's see what this does. Um, allocate some data sets. Delete start the rate file that it's mentioned here. Allocates it again. Command the ranking. Hmm. Let's try again. In classic uh, computer science fashion, if something doesn't work, let's just try again. Um, I don't know what it, what's wrong with it. Okay, so this doesn't quite work. Maybe uh, if some of the readers can play with it and let me know what's, what's happening. You are the captain of the destroyer USS Kludge. An enemy sub has been reported in your area. Your mission destroyed before shot one. So let's do... Um, first represents coordinate south north. The second number. Okay, so let's do 0, 50, 50. Was southwest and too high, so let's do um, south north, so too high, let's do 40. Um, and 50. And too high, 30. Was southwest and too high. Northwest and too high. Okay. So it's somewhere. You've been torpedoed. Okay. So you know the game. Another game? No. Okay. Then we have um, something called Worm, which is not here. We'll have to go find where it is. But um, so uh, what, what you do is. Um, I think there is F1, we'll start it, and then I think F11 or F12 makes it go faster and automatic. Um, um, okay, so we can start this again. There is a way to make this go on its own and then to speed it up. Um, okay, five, F5 changes. Display modes. Mm, not sure what's going on here. to go faster so there's some uh, display modes you can change here um, yeah if you press F1 again it goes very fast and it will use a lot of CPU um, we can actually go measure it here if you go to uh, number three I'm on you should be able to see what's going on in the system yeah, and you can see that uh, the CPU is very busy. It's using 61%. Um, and it's using this channel here, 0C1, which is the uh, channel that has all the terminals. Uh, as in channel 0, I mean, and device 0C1, which is the terminals. Um, so the channel 0, we know, is, all the, is where all the uh, terminals are attached. And so while this is doing its thing, it's going very fast. Let's make this a little bigger. Um, you can see here that uh, MVS is keeping up very nicely. Okay, so this is just some of the games. Um, and um, there may be some other games hidden, but I wonder where Worm is hidden, where, where we can find Worm. So let's go look for it. Uh, it must be Sys2. So let's look for Sys2. 
Is worm here? No. By the way, here is the logo. If you want to change that, uh, for instance, I really like the sleeping cat very much. Never did. Uh, so you could just fix it here. Somebody had asked in the comments, how do you change the logo on screen? And uh, Yeah, something like that. So this is how you change the logo, um, but it will only work next time you IPL the system. So where is um, Worm? Let's go find it. Is it here? Nope. There's some programs here. Some of those are contributed by me, which are the ones that delete uh, users, if you want to delete users. Yeah, here is warm. So the binaries are here and okay, I got it. In command lib, you have things that are object modules, compiled stuff. And here you have Silist, uh, which is the command language, uh, kind of a batch job for TSO, a batch language for TSO. So that's where you find stuff like this. Um, there's also, I think, a, a chat. Uh, let's see here. Uh, chat and then you need to get an address and then you can chat with another terminal um, there's a lot of goodies in here so I would advise you spend some time looking into this by the way some per some people have asked me how to send messages in TSO so you do like this send hello Herc01 oops sorry hello Motrix user herc01 since this is herc02 here at this uh when this terminal and this terminal is herc01 we should get a message here now okay and the next time we press enter we have a message hello moshix and this will also be logged in the console usually so the operator will be able to see what people are writing each other you can also send to all if you have and if the person is not logged in it will be saved in the sys1.broadcast data set and next time the user logs in she will get the message uh, uh, it's, you can find this one here broadcast this is where um, the messages that have not been delivered will be saved um, it's installed when you install TSO um, so um, this is some of the uh, features um, just some fun stuff I don't, I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be but uh, people have been asking about games I've been asking about how to send messages now you know where to find them and uh, if you find out how to play them um, you want to be a guest uh, in one of my next videos you'll be welcome to be a, a guest at, uh, in one of my videos um, by the way thanks a lot to one of the viewers uh, reached out to me and Preston thank you and uh, made available for me a login to a ZOS, a real ZOS system. I haven't yet uh, played with it, but I will uh, later this weekend and I'll make a video about it later. Um, I, I intend to make videos about COBOL and Rex and maybe about um, the uh, Unix um, uh, subsystems such as FTP, Telnet, etc. Uh, maybe we'll play with that a little bit this weekend and make a couple of videos. But uh, anyway, amazing community thank you very much Preston for reaching out and thanks to all of you for watching this video if you like this video please press on the thumbs up button please consider subscribing to my channel so you get notifications of future videos and see you soon on the Moshix Mainframe channel goodbye